Hello everybody, Gene Ryan here at World of Fish here in Hermantown and the reason that I'm out here today is because the movie Finding Dory is coming out and so I called them and what you know they have fish that are like Dory in the movie. So what we wanted to do is make this kind of an educational piece but also a fun piece because a lot of times like when Finding Nemo came out everybody's like oh I want a clownfish. Well there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot that goes into the care of these fish. They're saltwater fish. It's a whole different thing than just having a goldfish in a bowl. So we're going to talk to the experts here at World of Fish. We're going to show you some actual fish that are like Dory in the movie and uh, maybe learn something today. We're here this afternoon with Mark from World of Fish and uh, we're in front of a tank where there's a fish that looks like Dory um, is hiding in the coral, but uh, we'll probably uh, see her popping out in just a little bit. So Mark, let's talk about, you know, with movies like Finding Nemo and Finding Dory that's coming out, a lot of people are probably going to be calling, your phone's going to be ringing off the hook once that movie starts saying that they want a fish like this. First of all, what's the scientific name of this type of fish? Uh, it's a hepatis tang, or it's a, um, Latin end of it will be, but it's actually called a real blue tank or a hippo tank, blue hippo tank. Okay. Um, and that's, yeah, when it comes near, they usually come in looking for Dory. And minimum okay. tank size is going to be at least this, if not bigger. This is a 125 gallon tank here at six feet long. So these fish, there you can see, you can see her there, um, they can live to be 20? 15, 20 years. They'll live a long time in captivity. They get up to a foot, foot and a half in length. Wow. Oh, very large. Um, open water species. They need a lot of room to run. They it, all start up pretty dinky, so everybody thinks they can put it in a little bitty tank. It doesn't quite work that way. They like to run a lot of distances. Right. So what kind of care, let's say somebody would come in here, and I know you have some smaller of the fish. So let's say if somebody would come in, what, what would you tell them? This is what you need to know to have this type of fish. You need a big tank, obviously, just 100 gallons or bigger. Um, they do eat a lot of algae, they eat a lot of brine shrimp, they do excellent water quality. Uh, you'll notice on our tank here, she's got a certain amount of scarring on her that's caused from being in captivity and from having some other issues as far as filtration goes going on with her. So let's say you got the tank and it's a saltwater aquarium. Obviously, we have the tap water here is lake water. So do you put additives in the water, or how do you we make it? We actually start with a very pure water. We have to filter it all the way out okay. and turn it into reverse osmosis water. They sell it at Cup Foods. We sell it here for the cents a gallon. Um, we start out with that because tap water itself has a high algae content. Okay. And they're not algae content, but has a lot of stuff in it that causes algae. And salt okay. water, if you start with something like that, it's almost impossible to get rid of. There's a, there's a lot to it, but this is definitely the place to come here at World of Fish. Uh, Mark and everybody can help you out, make sure that you're getting the right fit. There are people that care about these fish. These, this isn't a typical place where you just come in, sure, here, put it in a bag, see ya. <laughs> so if you are interested in any kind of uh, tropical fish, this is definitely the place to come. They have all the supplies and the knowledge, which is what this is all about. You want to make sure you're informed. Not only the money aspect of it, but you got to think of the the life of the fish too. And so this isn't something to be taken lightly. It's a big commitment, especially for a fish that could live up to be 20 years old. And so uh, when you take your kids out to the movie and they see Finding Dory, remind them that Dory's a cartoon, these are real big fish. So maybe they could settle on something a little more, a little more affordable and, and easier to, to take care of. So Mark, where are you guys located? We are 5211 Miller Trunk Highway. We're up in Hermantown, just take 53 North. Up past the big LED sign that most of the city knows. And your website? Uh, Worldoffish.net. I don't World know if it's currently up and running now, so find us on Facebook. Okay, sounds good. World of Fish on Facebook. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us today, and uh, we know that uh, she's in good hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs>